Now I can't see shit. Go lower it then. Lower the microphone. <laughs> Wear a cup when you skate. I can't see a goddamn thing with this thing on. <laughs> Fucking Mike Trubs 96. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Can't see shit with this thing on. This mic's from my fucking eyesight. Eye line. <laughs> They're impeding my game skills. Alright, so in this episode of Retro, Retro Wednesdays, Wednesdays, we are taking a look at yet another Data East game, uh, Heavy Barrel. I remember you playing the shit out of this game. Really? When, in like, when I was in like 5th grade, so you were like in 4th grade? Yeah. Because you had one of those weird birthdays. Or something. Yeah. Sorry, I'm my bringing up painful things. Yeah. Sorry, but uh, <laughs> so I remember you playing the shit out of this game, and I remember I played it like once for like ten minutes, and I was like, yeah, I fucking hate this game, which is usually how I I went with games when I was really little. I kind of gained ADD, but it looks cool, and it's in one of my um, it's in one of my other game uh, lists as a good two player game. So I don't know. Well, if we're gonna do really single player that. tonight, right? Yeah, I don't want to play two players. I always find when we do that, we just I can't talk, and I just. Right. Just do a lot of uh heavy barrel. I, this is one of those games that I bought from I think Toys R Us, and it was nineteen ninety nine. You know that kind of thing. I just this views this opening music has just always been in my head when I think about Nintendo. Yo, by the way, intro stolen from Commando. I wonder if this is a spiritual successor. No, Maybe. Commando's Capcom. That's true. Oh my god, what am I doing? Sorry, anyone who's watching this? Jesus Christ. Sorry, right, man, hey. Gotta get in the zone. <laughs> oh my god, what's wrong with me? You gotta, this is a warm up game, don't worry about it. You gotta be a tough ass dude to be. Like, there's a dude here in a red suit with a machine gun shooting at you, and you're like, yo, you know what? I'm just gonna charge. Jesus Christ! Nah, go again. Seriously. Oh, oh yeah. did you want to continue? Because if you do, don't press start. Because that's a pause, not a continue. I never understood these tiki helmets, because it's like, why Why is the top of it carved? Because then if you're, if you're looking at it straight on, you wouldn't see it, so what's the point? These looks like big You know what? Dogs. Actually, I never realized this until just now. This has a lot of similarities to Midnight Resistance. I was gonna say that when I saw the key, but then I was like, I don't wanna be that guy. You're right though, no, it's the same company too, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Same character so stance. I wonder, I wonder, you know, cause Midnight Resistance is one of my favorite games. Yes, I love you that game. love Midnight Resistance. Any game that's like Contra, I'm just gonna automatically love, like, it's just, that's the way. I just remember, we would go to the, we would go to the spaceport, man, Midnight Resistance, and you would play that game, like, the entire fucking time. Loved it. I can never get used to the controls with the little dial thing. Which yeah. is weird, because you know in, uh, in Japan, the, um, Ikari Warriors arcade game had that. The same kind of setup, where you would, like, twist your character with a knob, yeah. and that's why the, uh, that's why the fucking Nintendo port is so bad. Because they didn't bother to take that mechanic out. Blue big asshole in the door. Yep, a roly poly turd. Oh, so you use this. I'm an idiot. I was like, why doesn't he get all the lockboxes? Because I'm a dumbass, that's why. I mean, this game actually, it's not bad. It's just. It's a little bit unremarkable. Yeah, it just, it reminds me of, it's like every other Data East game where it's like, kind of a sh slightly shittier clone of another game. What is wrong with me? You know, I don't think I've played this game seriously in a long time. Obviously, I'm not doing it now either, but I'm just, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Nah, this game's hard. I also think it's kind of funny that you have peg legs. Like your feet when you walk sideways. What is wrong with me? I like how those things like throw trash. You, you can keep going. Do another one. It's your warm-up game. The sound effect the for the game. shots pretty good though. Yeah. 
I like the music. The music kick ass. And that's that's hard because a lot of Deity's games do not have good music. Grenades don't seem to do shit though. Too slow. I like your super tough guy stance when you're staying inside of got Yeah, he's got like peg legs. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know why it has that. Do they still do peg legs now, or is that... I don't I guess, know. I guess, well, I guess they, they do, do like prosthetics. prosthetics. I remember when you get... Like, when you unlock the keys and you get the, the heavy barrel gun. That gun is awesome. You know what's funny is this game is, is so in my wheelhouse. Like, it is exactly the kind of game I love. And I'm just not crazy about this one. I yeah. I always feel like you get caught with, like, cheap deaths. A lot. I remember it was on my list of two top, like, good two-player games, but it wasn't very high. It was, like, number nine or something. Uh-oh, you got the dick part of the gun. Yeah, when you get that gun, you start... That's when the game gets really funny, because he basically doesn't destroy everything in one shot. For some reason, this game is also really synonymous with Snake's Revenge for me. Yeah. I don't know why. Because I think those are like the two games that we played at the same time. That's another game I gotta beat. I bet we could beat it now. Snake Revenge? Yeah. Yeah, I think we could do it. Snark's Revenge. We could totally do it. It can't be that hard. Now we got the internet. We got game facts. We got all kinds of cheap moves. These guys need to learn that they're running into a bullet wall. I'm telling you, it takes a special kind of crazy to be like, yo, this guy's got a machine gun, but I'm going to charge him with a stick. I always thought like, these guys look like dudes from Metal Gear too, for some reason. It does have the, With the a, guards. A look like that. I really want to know now the correlation between this game and Midnight Resistance. Yeah. Because they both they both used um shit. They both <laughs> used shit. um Oh my god. What is wrong with me? It's one of those bosses where it doesn't matter that um, you shouldn't use grenades because the shot's better. I don't know. I never used the grenades in, of the one time I played this. I didn't even know you had them. I'm a loser. I didn't have Nintendo powers. I like how the, the explosions in this game look like puffs. Like... Smegma puffs. I also remember when I played this, I got, I got scared of all the explosions. And I thought that they would, like, hurt you. I played this in the arcade. Uh, and it's way better. Well, I remember, you know, back in the day when hotels used to have uh, yeah. game rooms? That was awesome. Because they'd always have old games, but not the popular ones, so these kind of games would be the exact kind of game that you'd see in the 90s. Yeah. That's uh, good stuff. I remember um, there was, uh, I went to a dude ranch when I was real little. Like one of those things oh like Cowboys. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, And, yeah. um, they had this awesome arcade. And my dad got so pissed that we spent all this money on this dude ranch and I spent the whole time in the fucking arcade. <laughs> but they had, they had Moon Patrol and I never played that game before and I yeah. love, I dude? love Moon Patrol. Hell yeah, dude. That's one of my favorite that. games.
That game, oh my god. Played the shit out of it. You know what's weird about this game is uh, the controls are kind of uh, shitty. Yeah. <laughs> the grenades don't come out or something. I don't know what they're it is. all they're super delayed. Whoa. Well, I think this is the most worthless grenade for a boss, but we'll see. Ba -bow. Ba -bow. I like how the sand just stops. Now you're on someone's like ass cheek or something. Do you pick those power-ups? Like, how do you, or are they just random? I don't even know what... Like, I don't even know how to... Should I continue again, or you want to play? No, you can go again. We'll you go should. to... Yeah, we'll get to a good spot where you're stopping. Like, if you're, like, mid-level. I'll take over the next one. Yeah, this... This boss is fucking nuts. Son of a bitch! I'm sucking! It's so frustrating. I need to get my head in the game. Alright, so... What is the point of this part of the level? I don't know, I guess it's, it's just a, like... It's a dramatic thing, right? Yeah. It's like part of the... It's like, it's because they, they played Super C and they were like, what the fuck? Super this, C is this looks so like much Super better C. than this game. Because <laughs> it's basically, that's what it is. It's like such a normal... It's such a typical Data East thing, it's like just a shittier version of Super C. Fuck those grenades, dude. I don't know why are you using them. Oh my god! <laughs> Bro, the fucking grenades again. Oh my god, this thing. Swinging dicks. What is that? Semen cannon. I wonder if that's one of those, um, really powerful Jism ones. Boys. Nope. Get these tits. Are you turning that on? Like those power ups? I just pick it up and I don't know what it is. Oh, it's like random, right? I don't know, maybe, maybe, uh... Oh my god, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's alright, man. Hey, Warm-up game. You know other game I used to play in the arcades all the time? You remember when near my, uh... Parents' house, there's that swim club. Yeah. Wedgewood Country Club. Yes, I remember. I um, loved it so much because that diving board. Yeah. They had an arcade. Oh, the fucking buttons are backwards, first of all. What is. Yeah, like the controls are blocky. I'm doing good. I haven't hit shit, killed anything yet. But, um. That game, they had an arcade there with a couple of games, and they had Renegade. And I love that game too, even though it's like really shitty. I think that was the predecessor of Double Dragon, right? Yeah. You're right, these controls are shitty. They're like boxy. Like, I feel like I'm on a rail, even though I'm not. Damn. How are you supposed to know what thing you're getting? Yeah, I don't know. It's just random. Like, I want to keep this. I don't want to waste it. I want to use it. That This power-up should not wear out so quickly because this game's pretty slow-paced. Yes. I agree. Every time, those explosions, I'm like, oh, I'm getting hit with shrapnel. Those shrapnel's. statues are like, <laughs> But I don't understand why they're facing the ceiling. It makes no sense. I'm just trying to get the barrel. Give me that HB, boy. I'd like to know, <clears throat> is there anyone out there that's like... Data East was one of the best <laughs> game developers. <laughs> I'm sure there is. There's Data East Love 99 at Hotmail.com. Like, it's just, everything they do is so unremarkable. I'm sorry, I hate to say that about somebody. But if that you is. look at the other games that came out during this time... It just lacks a little bit of that polish that you would expect. Yeah, just, they're just shittier versions. They're just, they're just the B-Team. It just is what it is. It should just be called B-Team instead of Data East. Oh, I thought I killed it. Uh, <laughs> what was that? Just a parting prick shot? Yep. 
sticks. <laughs> Those grenades are so lame. Woo! It's so slow. Look at me! Prepare! <laughs> you got game. these, you got like a flamethrower, a super grenade, but you can't open a fucking box without a key. Yep. I, I, mean, I imagine this game came first. Because Midnight Resistance actually shows you the weapon. Staying the hell away from those guys. Yo, pricks shooting from off the screen. I hate that shit. Cheap ass shit. What? What are they shooting? Spiders? I don't know. Like they just looks like it looks like bad code. <laughs> That's like the physical embodiment of a Linux error. And they're... Great, it's good. Highly useful. Now I'm back to the piss gun. I do like that you can go back. That's yes. cool. I'm sure whatever I'm getting out of these is gonna be fucking amazing. Worth it. I definitely understand what they were going for with the keys, but I, I think it just makes it so you have to memorize the level. Yeah, it makes me annoyed. Because the whole idea of weapons is to be what? able to, Like, I should know which one I'm getting. Right. And, like strategize based on that. Oh my god, Sean. I was doing good and then now I'm just sucking dogs' dicks. Bullcorn. <sighs> Failing. Failing takes me away. How did that guy leave a key? He was green, wasn't he? Damn it to hell! You really want that heavy barrel? I do, because it's only—it's like the f one fun part of this fucking game. Oh, cool! <gasps> yes, Eber! <laughs> Boom! Jesus! <laughs> it looks like a giant Eber! I love it. Irma! Irma! <laughs> Going down now. I hate how it goes down on its own, though. It's fucking lame. Because I've lost all this time being able to use it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> gotta hurry up. Gotta get to the wall. Oh, you shithead. the most prick gun of all time. Heba! <laughs> now, game is complete. Don't care about the rest of it. Heba! <laughs> <coughs> you know they're all the dev meeting like, yo, listen to this! It says heavy barrel! How come I'm opening keys without... Opening chests without keys. I don't know. I opened up two of them. Get my semen pile. Mmm. I jizz on you. This game has the most worthless grenades in the world. <laughs> so frustrating. <laughs> you know me, I'm a grenade maniac. <laughs> so it's really upsetting. My favorite character in. Here's the war is the grenader. It's the grenadier. Exterminate. Well, 
I went to the bookstore and I saw the Gears of War 4 art book. Huh. That'd be kind and of then I thought, head. WHAT?! Who buys this? Except for people like me. I didn't buy it because it was like 40 bucks. 40 bucks? Shit. I always thought that looks like a face. Brrr. Uh oh. oh. It's tracking me now. Eba! <laughs> Eba! <laughs> oh my god, that shit was so good. Totally worth it. Let's move our ringtone. So many games, like, try to do voice voice acting and, s or, you know, voice things in the. Fuck you. I don't even care anymore. Uh, tried to do voice on the Nintendo, and like, the, there's like no, the only ones that ever pulled it off was Konami. But why would, what is the, who cares? <laughs> I know, that just makes it so funny. It's like, please use that dev time to polish the game. <laughs> Maybe make the no, game. No, 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 guys. Look. <laughs> like, Reba! <laughs> he said, what did he say right there? Oh, he said heavy barrel. Nah. This is not even close. He definitely didn't. I don't understand why you're shooting LED lights that are flying in the air. Rebar. Heba. <laughs> I really think he said Heba. I wonder if that's like what heavy barrel means it says translates to in Japanese. Reebok. <laughs> Maybe he's saying Reebok. Buy my fucking shoes. Yo, every time. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why am I, uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. sucking a dog? <coughs> I came in with such high hopes and now I'm just getting <laughs> Fuck this game, dude. It's so bad. This is not the worst game we've ever played, but it's definitely not the best. I was laughing because, like, the past couple of, uh, Episodes of Retro Wednesdays that we've done. <laughs> you've done such, such shitty games. Castellian. And then we did <laughs> fucking Ghoul School. Which is surprising because I definitely expected a whole bunch of people to like. Be like, yo, this game is nappy. Dude! But no one did. No one, no one rose to the defense of Ghoul School. So I think it's officially does suck. Yeah, I can't believe I spent like sixty bucks on that game. I did have a I did have a person point out to me that Castelli isn't that bad when you consider it, it consider it like a glorified you know Amiga port. Yeah, but that, I don't. It doesn't make the game good, but I'm gonna get into Castelli in a little bit. It's gonna be my new. Are you serious? <laughs> Fucking party shots. Speaking of fire shots, bro, did you see that they have, uh, they sell fireball whiskey in, in boxes now? What does that mean, in boxes? Like, you know, like a box of wine? You can now get yeah. a box of fireball. Wow. So, that's the most American thing ever. Do you like fireball? I've never yes. had it. Is it really artificial? Uh, yeah, because it's just like, it tastes like Big Red and whiskey. Sounds like really bad coming back up. Probably, yeah. I like it in uh in Coke. It's very very tasty. That's a good idea. Cinnamon Coke? Yeah. Purr, That's what it tastes like. Purr, 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 purr. Yes! Ebra! So that time thing, that gauge on the right, is a time thing. It's not a, a use thing. So you just go nuts. See, doesn't go down. You're gonna whoop these helicopters' ass. This game speeds the truck up. Come on, Reba. Damn. Reba, man. For some reason, when you say Reba, it reminds me of, um... 
there are these like Star Wars like continuation novels that like expanded the universe. They used to all be canon, and now they're they're not. They got eliminated when um the new movie came out. But there was a bounty hunter that I used to love, and his name was Max Rebo. And for some reason, every time this game is reminding me of him. Max Rebo. Figure and Dan in the modal nodes. They're the most famous jizz band in the galaxy. I'm not <laughs> kidding. If you look it up, it's called jizz. It's a very unfortunate selection of words. Or choice of words. Rocking out to my new jizz band. That sounds gross. <laughs> Could have called it jazz. <laughs> jazz. Or jazz. <laughs> Just, Why jizz? I don't know. It's just a very a shitty variation on jazz. Damn it! I, all right, so this is random, but do you remember? Um, Whoa! I can't even think anymore. Did you ever watch the movie Knocked Up? Yep. What was... Who's the main guy in that one again? Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen. I couldn't remember his name. For some reason, a little while back when I laughed, I... In my head, I said I have a Seth Rogen laugh. His voice sounds so weird because he smokes so much weed. I got stopped in the parking lot because someone said I look like him. <laughs> I could see it. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. Uh, no, I think right. it's a compliment. I mean, I don't... I think he's fine. Thanks, assholes. I know Seth Rogen watches us, so... Yeah, we're about to get that bump. The Rogie Man. Rogalone and cheese. Come on, man. How many Grenaggios does it take to kill this freak? Why can't you shoot while you're... Nading. Because your gun's so heavy, you need to carry it with both hands. Do you even have to kill these things, or you just, like, live with them? I know, but I don't want to live with them. Oh, sorry, my feet are probably going to stink. Taking my shoes off. I kept, my, I kept my work socks on, so I'm definitely butterfoot right now. <laughs> At least it doesn't smell like my, uh... Heavy barrel Nintendo cartridge. <laughs> Garlic shit. Yeah. So when we were gonna go play this game, just to tell the uh, audience, we were gonna use my copy of the game. Whoa, but butterballs! That was a bad. I can't smell it. I don't know. I think he just got sensitive nostrils. But we were gonna play the uh, my copy of this game, but for some reason we couldn't get it to work. And then, in an effort to be scientific, Brett decided to smell the cartridge. <laughs> and it smelled like dog turds. <laughs> and I don't know why. It smelled like a hot garlic shit. Ugh. I think this is one of those games that has, again, all of the trappings of, of a really great game, but it just doesn't quite deliver. It lacks a little polish that yeah. would have gone from like an okay game to... A really good game. You put that missile right up your butt. <laughs> Definitely have to edit this one. Yeah, it's something is gonna be an edit project. That's all right. They really got creative with these tanks, I'll tell you. It's one shitty tank after another. We gotta play through Iron Tank. Oh yeah, I've never really played that. I think we'd be a good team, because I am not a strategy gamer, but you are. So I think you'll All right, excel we'll at that those parts. It's an SNK game. Ooh. 
Be nice to take a break from Data East. She would tell you what goddamn weapon you had. Why, like, why would you overlook such an important thing? I know. Yeah. If I if I made this game myself, what I would do is make the grenades faster. I'd maybe make it so you could throw more at a time. I'd make it clear what weapon was underneath each thing. Like, okay, fine. Make me spend a key. But at least tell me what the goddamn weapon is before I pick it up. I agree. Or if you're gonna do that, just make more keys appear. You know what I mean? Like, make it so that lots of enemies drop keys. So or, if you, you waste know what, one, you know what, what uh, d does a good job is um, in I think Symphony of the Night, where you pick up an item and it drops the other one on the ground temporarily. Yeah. So you could pick it back up if you didn't actually want it. Or gears, gears is that with your guns? Oh yeah, that too. Fucking hell! Oh. Fucking grenades are so slow, they're like useless. They really are useless. Need some rebar. Rebar! Usually when I play a game, I'm like, alright, next level, and in this game, I'm just It like, is oh, really not God, rewarding at all. Next level. Oh, fuck, that made me jump. I was like, oh, the game broke. That's right, dickheads. Eat my giant toilet... <laughs> it looks like a toilet roll. <laughs> like a toilet paper roll thing, the plastic thing. Yeah, it does. Come on, let's go. Be some further drawing the fucking screen. Looks like something else, and I can't put my finger on it. Some kind of sexual applicator. Oh, thank God. Still gotta continue, but oh man, better play. What the fuck am I supposed to do? This fucking thing won't die. Just go, man. Fuck it. Figure out how to dodge that. <laughs> Discouraged. Just don't care. Like, it's just not fun. All I'm doing is just trying to outrun, get the screen to move up fast enough. To go fight another goddamn stupid tank. On your, of course, on yours is just shot straight. Mine's gonna be fucking. The fuck. Whoever designed that boss needs to get. Rye locked. In the knee. <laughs> needs to get dropped. Let go. Uh. Oh, look, the green fucking stage. Nope, same shit. Different colors. <sighs> Alright. Alright, final thoughts, Sean. It's just not it it's just not good. Like, it's like okay. Like if I never played Contra, this would be like kinda fun. But right. the problem is that there's so many good shooters like this that are out there that are just like better in every way. Like the controls are too blocky. The grenades are a fucking joke. The weapons you get are cool, but you never get them long enough to, to do anything with them, and you end up wasting them on just killing regular dudes. There's so many cheap deaths. Like, the heavy barrel thing is cool for, like, the 30 seconds you get it, and that's, like, it. It's just not that good a game. There's no other way to put it.
Yeah, I don't have much else to add. I had this game when I was growing up. I think I got it for 20 bucks at Toys R Us. And I didn't play it very much because it's just, I don't know, something about it. It's just not really that fun. And I'm not really sure exactly what it is, but I bet it's a combination of the controls not being tight, not knowing what weapon you're going to get. It's just overall, it just seems rinky-dink. Like, especially if you've seen the arcade version. Right. Uh, it's just so much smoother. And they could have done what they've done with a lot of games where they adapt it to the home console. And I think I would have been more happy. I would have been happier with that. Because, you know, a lot of times a straight port, it's just like, why even bother? You, you don't have the right hardware. It's going to be choppy. It's going to not look as good. Why even bother? You know? Yeah. It's just not it's just not a fun game like there's no I don't know. I mean the the tense the 30 seconds you have heavy barrel is fun cuz you just rip shit and that's it. Like outside of that it's just like just a generic shooter. It was boring. Yeah, it's it pretty super boring. boring. Like I'm so bored right now. Let's go take a nap. <laughs> I'm going to go take a shit and then take a nap. Or maybe the other way around. Whatever. But yeah, this is Heavy Barrel, and... How, wait, we didn't do... How much do you think the game would go for? I can't imagine it's more than $10. Yeah, I would say like 12 is probably the max for this. It's pretty common. Yeah, it's not like it's unheard of. If if this game just had a few tweaks, <laughs> I think it would be... It would go from being pretty bad to like... Good. Not bad. Yeah, it would be better. It would be much, much improved. It just makes me want to play Midnight Resistance. That's really it. Alright, so for Retro Wednesdays, this is Heavy Barrel, and until next time. Ugh. Reba!